Hi, I'm Joe Ravita from Empire Music, EmpireMusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And today I'm here to continue our efforts to show you comparison videos of some of the amazing guitars that we stock. As you may know, Anthony's been doing tons of bass videos and they've gotten a lot of response. And we're excited today because I'm going to compare Martin and Taylor Dreadnought guitars, both Rosewood models. And I want to get your opinion down in the comments. We're interested in finding out what you think about the guitars and what you prefer and let you know about how we kind of approach how we personally like to find the guitars that we're out there playing. You can see all the specs of these guitars right at empiremusic.com. You can chat with us right through the site. So when I thought about doing the very first video, I thought what better place to start than Dreadnought guitars with Rosewood back and sides. Um, obviously Martin invented the modern Dreadnought guitar. It's, it's always been something that they've um, been associated with. It's really the, the heart of their brand. Taylor has offered many iterations of Dreadnought instruments over the years. However, the new Builders Edition uh, models are fantastic and really are something to consider. So today we're going to compare the Martin HD28 and the Taylor Builders Edition 717. Both have solid Sitka spruce tops. Both have solid East Indian rosewood back and sides. The Martin has the scalloped 5 16 inch X bracing, and Taylor has their V bracing in the Builders 717. When I'm selecting a guitar and I'm comparing the tone, I'm an acoustic guitar, and what I'd like to hear from you about is I want to hear your thoughts on the clarity, the definition, the overall boastfulness, the richness and fullness that you find. And what's most important to you? There isn't a right answer here, but I have my preferences for different types of things. And I'm gonna show you kind of the dynamic ranges of the guitars and play them a handful of different ways so you can compare and then we can chat about it down in the comments and we'll find out what you prefer. So I wanna start with the HD28. And right now I just wanna start off with a basic strumming pattern I'm gonna repeat on both guitars. And this is gonna be something where I'm gonna strum lightly and heavily so we can kind of hear how the guitar opens up and see what type of tone they have to offer. So here we go. So that's the HD28. Now let's grab the Builder's Edition 717. And for what it's worth, these guitars are strung from the factory. Elixir on the Taylors, Martin strings on the Martin. So this would be exactly as the factory would have designed them. And we, like we would sell it to you, we gave, did full factory setups on both these guitars before we did this. So here's the Taylor 717. Both really sound like the brand's experience that you expect. I think that's something that I know this right out of the gate. Let's check out these guitars with some finger picking, light picking in open position. I always think this is interesting because I'm personally very, very interested in the guitar's definition and clarity. Um, loud is cool, um, rich and bassy is cool, whatever word you want to use for that. Note separation is really, really important to me because I find that if a guitar is too dark or too muddied, uh, 
that I don't prefer personally, but let me know what you think. So that was the HD28, and here comes our Taylor 717. All right. The last comparison that I wanna do, and if you watch any of our product reviews, something I like to do is the clarity through the center of the guitar, up and down the neck and kind of open position chords. Uh, I like to hear the trueness of them and make sure that we're getting good mid response. So let's have at it here, starting with our Martin HD 28. Finally, the 717 with the same experience. So what I'd love for you to do is subscribe to our channel. Then below, let me know which you prefer and why. Are you a big, full richness? Which one did you find bassier and richer and fuller sounding? Which one did you find to have more balance? Which one do you think you'd like to hear if you were recording yourself so you're playing, if you're gonna record a record that you were writing or a song that you were writing? What do you think you'd like to hear? whether you're experiencing it yourself or you're experiencing it from someone else playing, what's your favorite and what are the parts about it? I'd like to hear, cause I think both guitars are phenomenal. I think they both, you know, it's, it's you know, the Taylor Dreadnought, this is the best one that they've ever made. The playability is phenomenal. Martin's is an iconic sound that we've heard on a million records. Um, you just really feel that both brands give a great experience. I just wanna know what you think and I'll be chatting with you below. So I'd love you to go to empiremusic.com, check out these guitars and everything else we offer. Incredible service, myself, Todd, or Anthony, Jordan can help you out. You can always give us a call, 412-343-5299. I'm Joe from Empire Music and empiremusic.com in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and today we've compared the Taylor 717 Builders Edition with the Martin HD28. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.